How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to conserve or save your battery life on the iPad. And there's a couple tips I'm going to show you to kind of help you do that. I'm going to show you two scenarios um, in terms of saving power. One scenario is going to be if, let's say you're watching a movie, listening to music, or playing a game on the iPad that doesn't require the internet. That's one option. The other option is if you need internet, I'm going to show you some other tips to conserve battery life and still keep the Wi-Fi on okay so the first thing we'll start with and this is for both um, you wanna go to settings actually well we'll start with the uh, the simplest one first if you double tap on the uh, on the home button which is right here just click it twice um, you wanna check down here to see if you have any apps open okay this is one thing that uh, a lot of people don't know about um, even though it's to others it's like you know common sense on the iPad is uh, whenever you open an app it stays open until you close it so watch I'm gonna open a couple apps here maps you know calendar and then I open up a game so I just opened up four apps and if I double tap on that button this shows you all the apps that are open okay if you don't go in here and turn these apps off they will continue to run in the background they'll drain your battery so um, let's say if you notice your battery is already getting low um, then what you will want to do first is you know double tap on the home button or if you're running iOS 5 four fingers and just swipe up and then it'll bring up this this menu right here hold down on the apps until they begin to shake and then just start hitting the red X and, and the red uh, minus sign excuse me just close them out once those are closed that's gonna save you some battery juice because now those apps aren't running because what they're really doing is it's saving your place wherever you were doing in the app before you closed it it's just holding that spot right there okay so it's good if you're gonna come back to it if you forget about it then it's just gonna kill your battery alright so that's the first thing is check the multitask bar and make sure you don't have anything open second thing you want to do is uh, we're gonna go to settings and you're gonna go to general or I'm sorry you're gonna go to Wi-Fi okay now normally your Wi-Fi is on and, and me like most people my Wi-Fi normally just stays on all the time if you're trying to conserve battery life turn off your Wi-Fi okay that's one of the quickest ways Wi-Fi pulls a lot of um, battery power so you wanna go settings and then Wi-Fi right there and just turn it off okay I'm gonna show you an option later on in the video if you need to keep Wi-Fi on let's say if you're browsing the web or you're researching or whatever I'll show you an option on, on how to conserve with Wi-Fi on but for now I'm just focusing on if you know you don't need Wi-Fi so that's step two step three go down to general and go to Bluetooth you want to turn off your Bluetooth okay again these are things that people just tend to keep running all the time and you know the problem is you forget about it and you're not realizing that every time you charge your iPad these are automatically sucking the um, you know battery power off because basically they're always looking for a signal they're always trying to connect to a Bluetooth device so you know it's pulling power you don't even know it okay so that's step three is turn off Bluetooth um, step four and th you can do this either in settings or you can do it in the multitask bar um, but we're in settings so I'll show you in here you go to brightness and wallpaper you want to turn down the brightness on your iPad okay um, so you can dim it halfway or if you're in a really um, like a darker room you can dim it all the way down um, now I'm in a very well lit room so it, it'll kind of vary so you kind of will have to play with that to see you know what's the the, the lowest you can have it um, without you you know still being able to see the screen basically so but uh, adjust the brightness and you want to turn that down because that will help to conserve your battery life as well so just turn it down the brightness okay that's step four um, Step five, and this is not for everybody, uh, but for those of you who have um, a 3G or 4G iPad, you'll want to turn off your 3G or 4G connectivity. Um, that is a super drainer on battery life. Okay, and so most people kind of know, but in case you didn't know, if you're not using that, turn that off so that that's not, you know, draining your battery. Okay, there have been times where I was literally at like 10% left. In, in my um, you know battery and I have it set right here so I can actually see 
um, the percentage of you know how much battery le battery time I have left. Um, and I basically turned off all these things, and my iPad lasted me for like another like 30 minutes to an hour. Okay, because now it's not like running all this background stuff that I don't know about. So these are a couple tips here. Now the last thing I wanted to show you is if you have to keep Wi-Fi on, there's some other things you can do to kind of help with um, you know conserving the battery. So let's just say, for example, let's say Wi-Fi is on and you need to use the internet and you're not streaming, so keep that in mind. If you're streaming video or music through the online, that's just gonna drain, the, you know, it's kinda hard to prevent that. But let's say if you're doing research or you're just on Facebook or you're doing like basic simple web browsing um, and Wi-Fi is still on, you would wanna come down to, let's see, you wanna go to mail, okay? And then under mail, you wanna go where it says fetch new data and then under here you want to turn off push notifications and then you want to set uh, fetch to manual and let me tell you what this is going to do so um, certain email accounts if you have push enabled um, whenever someone sends you an email it will automatically grab that email and send it to your iPad Now, keep in mind in order for the iPad to do that there's got to be something that's constantly searching for new emails which is pulling uh, battery power the second thing is down here with fetch you can set how often your iPad looks for uh, new emails every 15 minutes 30 minutes every hour or manual if you set it to manual the iPad will stop looking for new emails unless you pretty much go to the mail app once you go to the mail app and then let's say you let's see let's go to all the emails here and let's say you go to uh, sync right then the iPad will look for new emails but uh, unless what am I saying so if you have it on manual um, you can basically control when the iPad will look for new emails and thus that will help um, in conserving your battery power Okay, so those are just a couple of tips there on how to save your battery life. I use these all the time because, I mean, how often do you, like, forget to charge your iPad and you still need to bring it somewhere? Hey, I mean, life happens. So, um, you know, it's good to know what to do to help kind of conserve your battery power. Also, if you're going on a road trip and you know you're going to be in the car for eight hours, um, you don't want your iPad looking for Wi-Fi if there's no Wi-Fi available. You don't want it looking for Bluetooth if there's nothing to connect to. So those are just a couple of tips to help you conserve your battery power and hope that was helpful. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. If you liked the video, then click the like button below and give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And subscribe to H2 Tech Videos and have a good one.